Now, the next segment, we wanted to talk about a key theme that's been playing out within the market, and specifically the US, um, over the past few months. Now, at the last update, we spoke to some of the turmoil that we'd seen within the financial sectors following the failure of Silicon Valley Bank um, and to a certain extent Credit Suisse within the European markets. Now what we saw there was something of a flight to safety and what do we mean there? We just mean that we saw sort of, um, investors either disinvesting from uh, equities or moving to more secure stocks as a, uh, as a result. Interestingly, when you look at a sector, a, a, a market such as the US, you have a predominance of very large, highly capitalized firms. Now, on the back of some of the news that came through over the last few months has really been around generative AI or artificial intelligence. Now, that's been something that's been around uh, for years now. But in the recent period, We've seen huge leaps forward. Now, most people will have heard of things like ChatGPT. Well, that is just one element that has really made investors and, and markets very excited about the knock-on effects of, of building efficiencies within the way in which businesses work going forward and how that might play out into future profitability. So what we've tracked on here is really the drive of some of those particular stocks that have come through. And we're showing on this chart an equally weighted market in the US or the normal S&P that we talk to most of the time. And you can see that actually the rally in the market that we've seen has been driven by some of those really large cap stocks which have done particularly well on the back of the buzz that's been generated around ChatGPT. So the likes of Microsoft, Amazon, uh, Google, etc., NVIDIA, which has done so incredibly well, that have seemed to benefit from this early flush of, of activity within uh, generative AI. Now, if we had equally weighted all stocks, you can see that actually the US market hasn't done terribly well since that flight to safety following Silicon Valley Bank. Now, I'm gonna hand back over to Madhushri, who's gonna bring all of this to life in the context of the portfolios. Thanks, Tom. So as you know, we hold a number of different equity managers. And on aggregate, our top holdings within them are key beneficiaries of AI. We have Microsoft, which has an exclusive partnership with OpenAI, the mastermind behind ChatGPT. They are actively working on integrating ChatGPT into their search engine, Bing, as well as their office applications. Alphabet has also integrated AI into its search engine, Google, and Meta plans to create more AI-driven products, particularly in augmented reality and virtual reality, as they align with its vision for the metaverse. It's important to note that our managers have held some of these companies for a significant period of time. They did not simply buy in based on recent hype, but rather because these companies possess stable cash flows, robust balance sheets, and a degree of margin protection. These are precisely the attributes we've been seeking to increase exposure to within the portfolios. And that bias has helped us generate these top holdings. Ultimately, over the last year, we have quite dramatically tilted the portfolios away from companies that are sensitive to a cyclical slowdown and towards recession-proof areas ones which are dependable in terms of earnings, of which some have got direct exposure to artificial intelligence. 